back with me, Madam Fatin, and we're gonna still focus on the same topic, which is topic on Java language. But in this lecture, we're gonna look on a new subtopic, which will be 4.4 array, and there are three learning outcomes that will be covered during uh, for this subtopic. And in this first part of the lecture video, we will cover on the first two learning outcome. So at the end of the lesson, you will be able to explain what is an array and what are the components inside an array. Okay, and secondly, you are able to declare the array variables and also create the array itself. So let's not waste any more time and let's start. Okay. Oh, Ray. Bila you terdengar perkataan array ni, apa yang terlintas dalam fikiran you? What was it? Okay. So to help uh, you or to help us to or to have a better understanding on what is an array, I made this simple ideology. Okay. So let's say we want to go for a shopping. I mean, who on earth doesn't like shopping? You tell me. Okay. Okay, orang tu rare lah eh. Tapi I would say almost everyone loves to go shopping. Buy whatever they like. So let's say I want to go to my favorite mall. Oh, the, um, my favorite mall of the day which is IOI City Mall. And then I would like to buy some sports shoes for my family. So I would go to Adidas. Okay, yeah, Adidas for life. Okay, whatever. Okay. So. Bila you dah masuk dalam kedai kan? And then after we have find, we have found like 5. Let's say kita nak beli 5 kasut kan? Kita dah jumpa. Dan kita dah, dah beli. And suddenly, that um, cashier tu give us one bag for each shoes that we bought. So can you imagine like we are that kind of guy where we had to hold many bags just for one stuff. And leceh kan? Bayangkan you nak pergi beli lima kasut dan you kena pegang lima bag. Kan? So, why need a paper bag for every shoes you bought when you can have one big paper bag that can fit all your shoes? Ha, huh. Boleh nampak tak? So, daripada kita kena pegang ke lima-lima bag yang mengisi benda yang sama which is kasut, why not kita ada satu bag besar Di mana lip bag besar tu boleh muat lima kasut kita tu Dan kita hanya pegang sekali je dan sangat mudah Betul tak? Ha, itulah function array So <laughs> Ya, yeah, tepuk tangan Simple kan? So basically Array ni Is a collection of a fixed number of elements Wherein all of the elements made of the same data type So the array can actually fit many values at one time. So this is on kata the formal definition of array. Okay. So bayangkan kita ada satu tempat lah eh. Kita satu, ada satu tempat di mana kita boleh simpan semua elements ni. Elements ni kenalah dia data type yang sama. In which kalau you tengok yang warna biru depan ni. Ada 73, 104 ni. Semua made of data type apa ni. Yes, made of data type, integer. And, dia mestilah ada fixed number of element. Maksudnya, array ni dah kena ada fixed size dia. Ha, kita tak boleh, dia tak boleh, um, kata, array ni dia tak boleh bertambah secara sendiri. Kita yang kena set berapa banyak value yang dia boleh pegang at one time. Okay. So, one array is made of five components. So, the first Component is element or we call it values inside the array. So the one that I highlighted blue here, okay, that is what we call it value or we call it element. Dia adalah semua value-value um, yang kita letak dalam array kita lah, okay. And then the second component is data type. So we all know that this blue here is using data type in integer and then our array here must have a name. And let's say we put the name ARR. R. Uh, it's a short form for array, right? So we put the name for our array here is R. With 
ta 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 integer okay and then array here have a size so let's count how many elements dalam kita punya kotak ni so there is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the size of our array is 7 and the last but not least the fifth components of an array which is we call it index number so the one yang you nampak ada dalam orang kata square bracket ni 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 dia adalah index so okay dia macam ni index ni komputer ni akan baca array kita yang pertama ni dekat index yang pertama which is kosong maksudnya komputer dia start baca kita punya array ni mula daripada kosong. Kosong, satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam. Tapi, hakikatnya kita punya array ni ada tujuh value. Uh, tujuh value. Ha, cuma pengiraan index dia, dia start daripada kosong. So, please take note. Okay. Alright. So, tadi kita dah kenal what are the five components inside the array. And now we look on how to create the array. So, in order to create an array, first we need to declare one variable with an array type. Ha, macam tadi lah, kita declare nama dia r and then type dia tadi, that are integer kan? And then after that, we can only create the array itself. So, look on. So, ini adalah sample coding. Inilah cara coding untuk kita create array. So, we put data type kita and then square bracket. Kemudian, nama kepada array kita, ARR, kan? Sama tadi. Equals to new int. Ha, sama jadi data type. Kemudian, dalam square bracket yang kedua ni, kita letak size dia. Kita declare dia punya size. So, this is on kata the template on how to create an array. Madam, kena hafal ke? I would not say hafal, but as you buat banyak latihan programming, kan, especially melibatkan array, you akan biasalah. So, ni memang orang kata uh, standard way on how to create an array. So, first you identify the data type first and then you letak square bracket and then the array name equals to new data type again and then inside this second square bracket, you you put array size. Dia macam sama lah. Public static void mainstream. So, we cannot question why susunannya macam tu. That is how it's being set lah. Ha, okay. So, macam awak lah. Awak tak boleh question kenapa uh, awak kena belajar 4 subjek instead of 3 subjek. Sebab sebab sistemnya dah set macam tu. Okay. Alright. Okay. There's one note here. Okay. Nanti kan uh, dalam soalan ke ataupun uh, when you encounter uh, anything regarding an array, dia akan tanya, uh, find the length of the array. So, maksudnya, length ni kita refer dia sebagai size of the array. So, if the question asks you, what is the length of this array R here? So, the length is, what? The length is 7 because length equals to the size of array. Ataupun, size of, size of the array will equals to length. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 is the length for the array name R. Okay, A-R-R. Ha. Tu, extra. Bukan lah extra, tapi you have to know lah. Okay, jangan terkejut bila ada soalan tanya length. And then, Ha, ini yang saya nak mention ni. The, ra the range of index value start from 0 until length minus 1. So, maksudnya kat sini, tadi kita punya length adalah 7, betul? Jadi, range of index kita adalah daripada kosong sehingga 6. Ha, so, length tadi 7 kan? 7 tolak 1 akan dapat 6. Ha, gitulah. Okay? It's okay. This is only the first time you hear. So, after this, kita akan biasakan diri. Kita akan biasakan dengan kita selalu buat latihan. And then, you akan nampak the flow dia. Alright. Okay. So, kalau you perasan tadi kan. Okay. Ini orang kata the full template dia lah. Okay. So, kita fokus. So, actually, without 
the orang kata the second part here ni saya kaburkan eh kita fokus pada first part ni ini kita panggil creating an array okay ha okay ha the first part while on the other side okay ini yang saya highlight biru ni dia adalah orang kata okay sorry sorry kita patah balik eh okay yang saya highlight kuning ni ini part of code di mana kita cakap dia declare the array. Kalau let's say the question asks you to the question asks you to declare variable uh, r for array with data type integer. So you hanya buat integer square bracket r and then semicolon. Settle. Okay? If the question asks you to create an array with the data and other side ha, so you focus on the second part ni so basically okay yang template yang saya tunjuk awak yang warna merah ni dia adalah gabungan dua part so part yang pertama kemudian part yang kedua ni okay okay ha, ni saya cakap ni bila declare declare ni maksudnya kita hanya ambil the first part je so maksudnya dia punya template dia data type Square bracket and then array name. And then semi colon. Ha, dia macam sama lah. You all buat kan bila declare variable. Integer name. And then integer name semi colon. Lepas tu kat bawah tu baru lah you initialize. Name equals to zero. Ah Something like that. Kan? And actually that code can be combined. Tapi kita asingkan. So, when the question asks you to declare an array, you just need to Use this template data type square bracket array name. So this is a data type integer with the name arr, and the second example is data type double, and the array name is marks, and then the third example the array name is letters with data type char. Okay, tu adalah cara kita declare an array. Next, create an array. If the question asks you to create an array, then kita kena ikut template inilah. Tapi kena ingat ya, you cannot create an array without declare first. Maksudnya, okay, you takkan boleh guna marks equals to new double in bracket uh, 8 ni kalau you tak declare dulu double in bracket marks ni. So, nak tak nak, okay, kalau soalan minta you create an array, you kena buat declaration dia dulu. Okay? So, declaration and creation ni adalah orang kata wajib ada. Wajib berguna. Dia berpasangan. Ah, Dia berpasangan. Okay? Cumanya, dia boleh dipisahkan jadi dua part yang berbeza. Okay? So, create an array. So, we have this template here. Array name equals to new data type in bracket array size. So, tadi example yang kita tadi, array rr equals to new int 6. Ha, so, array size 6. Tadi kita pakai 7 kan? Ha. And then, marks equals to new double 8. Letters equals to new char 4. Remember, ni, nama ni kan, array name ni. Kalau lah you pergi declare kat sini buat mark and then suddenly you pergi create pula marks, ha, maka akan timbul lah error, syntax error. Tak, orang kata tak sama. Okay. So, kena konsisten. Alright. Let's discuss. So, let's say we have uh, example here. Int in bracket ARR equals to curly bracket 73104532. Ini, ha, tadi tak ada kan dalam example. So, example ni, dia adalah contoh. Contoh di mana kita initialize dalam kita punya array ni. Okay. Array kita nama R ni. Apa value yang dia pegang. So, ada berapa banyak ni. Ha, okay. So, let's say the question asks. What is the value in the second index? Okay. Bila soalan kata second index. Bermaksud dia nak index yang kedua. Jadi, kita tahu tadi pengiraan index bermula daripada kosong kan. So, kosong. Satu. Dua. 3, 4, 5, 6. So, dia nak value of the second index. So, what are the answer? So, the answer is 0. Ok. 
okay so next question how to access the six element in an array uh, so dia tanya how to access the six element in an array tapi Sebelum kita nak menjawab how to access ni, kita kena cari dulu apa dia six elements in the array. Okay, so jangan confuse eh. Tadi dia index betul. So, sekarang ni dia element. Jadi, tukar color lah. Okay, so element kat sini. Okay, ni element yang pertama. Element kedua, element ketiga, element keempat, lima, enam, Tujuh. Soalan minta berapa? Elemen yang ke enam. Jadi, jawapan dia adalah tiga. So, the six element is three. However, kita masih tidak menjawab soalan lagi. Soalan tanya how to access. Jadi, jawapannya adalah ha, apakah jawapannya? So, apa tadi array kita? ARR kan? So, ARR Okay, element kita tadi, 6 elements in the R. So, bila kita tengok 6 elements of the R ni, okay, warna biru tadi 6, kat nombor 6 ni kan? Itu 3. Dan dia dalam indeks yang ke 5. So, kita akan cakap kat sini, R, 5. Madam, Madam tak ajar pun tadi? Ya, yeah, sengaja je bagi, Sebab tu lah kita ada soalan ni. Ha, yang kata sambil-sambil kita buat soalan, sambil-sambil kita belajar benda baru. So basically, apa yang saya buat ni adalah cara untuk kita access value ataupun kita nak dapatkan value dalam array kita. Macam mana? Kita panggil balik nama dia. Okay, RRR. Kemudian, kita ambil, uh, pakai square bracket. Dan dalam square bracket tu, kita kena letak kedudukan element okey menggunakan index number okey so tadi dia nak six element kan so tadi ada 1 2 3 4 5 6 so six element adalah nombor 3 ni okey ni eh, tiga ni adalah element kita tapi dia minta how to access maksudnya dia nak location in our, in our array so kita tahu location ni kita pakai index so kita pakailah value yang Di atas ni value 5. Oh uh, madam. Confused juga lah. Tapi tak apa. Uh, first time kan? Biasa lah. Confused. Okay. After this, buat soalan. You akan faham. Okay. So, jangan takut lagi. Relax. Chill, chill dulu. Janji you dapat orang kata dia basic concept dulu. Okay. Okay. So, in summary. Let's say we want to create 100 integers number. So, kita biasanya selama ni kita dah ikut variable declarations kan? Kita declare kalau kita nak pakai 5 variable, kita declare lah 5. Jadi, kalau lah kita soalan minta 100, takkanlah kita nak create sampai 100. Jadilah dia like impractical, betul? Jadi, dengan adanya array ni, dia dah membantu kita actually jimat a line of code dan jadikan kod kita lebih efisien. So, daripada kita kena create lah banyak-banyak 100 kali ni, kita hanya buat satu line saja. In which kita create satu array di mana dalam array tu kita set array size dia jadi 100 dan dia pegang data type integer dan kita letak nama array kita number. Okay? So, in summary, why we need to use an array? Because array is uh, help us to actually uh, hold many values at one time. Okay, values ni kena sama data type nya, kemudian ada fixed number. Okay, tu je you kena ingat. Alright, so before we end this the first part of lecture, please scan this QR code and then complete the quizzes. Okay, remember this quizzes will be marked as your, as your attendance for the first online class of this week which is the first online class. Alright? So that is all from me. And we're gonna see you all in the second video. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.